Okay, this is how we cut the bag. First of all, we'll cut this end off uh, away from here. Then you will flip the bag over. You always want to start cutting the seven inches from this here end that you just cut off. Flip the bag over and you will then cut it seven inches. You can get three cuts out of this. Then you'll go 14 inches, which is another seven inches. My rotary cutter is getting it. And then 21 inches. Okay, when you're done with that, you'll have three sections out like this. Oops, we got a couple of them on here. After you're done with that, you take this bag, you open it up from the inside like this. That'll make it 11 and a half inches this way. You take and cut each one of these off the side. And you have enough for two masks. And you do that with each one. This is the finished cut piece that you, I just showed you how to cut. On the end, usually the seam is about two inches up and that's where we start. We put a tongue depressor right above the two inch mark there and we hold it over. Make sure at this time that you've got a nice clean edge here that everything is going straight. Put the next one in place, hold it over again, and you're still straight. When you get all three done, put it under the machine, and you wanna um, you wanna back back stitch a little bit here, but we're only gonna go over all three of the of um, the pleats at this time and then back stitch again. Then I take and flip it over and do the other end. Okay, when you're done with that, you take your sticks out and then you flip it over and you turn this over and you wanna have a 5 8 inch seam. And that's important so that you can get the elastic tucked in there once we're done sewing. So you want a, a 5 8 inch seam. Same thing on this side, flip it over. And again, a 5 8 At this time, then you look, make sure everything's square. Sometimes you want to maybe trim a little bit on the ends to make it, um, if you've got a little bit of an overlap. And then you're ready for your elastic. So you take your elastic at that time and you just stick your elastic in here about a quarter of an inch. Back stitch over that, make sure your elastic stays. I run straight down through then, put this in here and then run it straight through and back stitch. And there you go, you have your finished, finished product.